I can't tell you I don't I, I know I don't know why all these keep popping up but there was some furniture for sale a few weeks back and I asked the party well I'm not really interested in the furniture do you have any old televisions and they said yeah we'll get back to you and weeks went by and they never did well, all of a sudden I received pictures of this a Motorola 23 inch black and white stereo TV what's unique about this is I'll show you it has an AM FM tuner and a turntable built into it okay here it is indoors on its side uh, we managed to get it in uh, I did test the CRT when we got it I'm going to take the back off and give you a look inside in a minute okay again uh, this was missing a bright over here that's been gone for some time this is the FM AM tuning over here and over here is the UHF tuning and that bright had just come off and I heard it and I managed to uh, catch it off the ground so we do have that bright there uh, we did power this up it it did not have a picture at first and then as I went to test the CRT before purchasing I noticed there's a brightener on it so we tested it without the brightener just to show the owners the condition of the CRT and at first it tested not so good and then I don't quite understand myself but the, the tube tests good even without the brightener I reattached the brightener and plugged the set in and it displayed a raster so we're gonna test the CRT again okay so here's a view looking from the rear um, the doors on the top slide to close then on this side is your your VM 1255 changer um, with 45 adapter the issue with this is the pickup on this is a, a static 142 according to the SAMS and it puts out two volts because there's only the amplifier is just one stage of amplification a 6BM8 which contains a triode and a pentode in the same envelope so uh, requires uh, if I put a modded cartridge in it will have a little lower output but we may have to go with that it's a series string tube chassis with your controls up top and the chassis wrapping around let's take a look inside we'll check that CRT okay hoping to find the other bright inside the set which I did not I did happen to find a finish nail uh, a very large brass wood screw um, these are the screws for the rear of the cabinet uh, a snap for a, a jacket or whatnot and the strangest thing of all is a 0.05 at 400 capacitor being 400 I I think this came from the top of the chassis with a volume and uh, base controls are so we'll have to we'll have to find out where that that came from later so right now let's take a look there's our tuner on the side and that is AM FM stereo as it has the uh, 38 kilohertz oscillator etc and the TV chassis just a little string series set our dual 8 inch golden voice speakers there no tweeters here unless they're mounted in the center but or coaxial or whatnot uh, original output tube and the damper has been changed again here's our brightener on the CRT and I don't know if someone just added this uh, I'm gonna have to test this because the H light was flickering on the tester, but I wasn't in the short position, so I don't know what that is all about. But I'm gonna, I should just plug it in and try it first, because I did have raster moments ago. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna test this tube again. 
without, and we're going to run it without the brightener. Again, I have other testers, but for these early black and whites, or this isn't real early, I'm going to consult the BNK model 465. I'm doing my heater adjust. The tube is lighting. It is a 6.3 volt filament, so I'm going to do just that. We have 6.3. Our G2 is 50 on this, and the G1 is it says 22 to 50 or something like that. It's set to 60, but I'm just going to leave it there. And the H light's not flickering like it was before. Shorts. Tap the tube a little bit. No shorts in this tube. And we're at 6.3 and we'll do emission. The tube is lit. Well, we can set cutoff here. See, now the emission is down. We'll try to set cutoff here. Okay. And we go to emission. This will steadily climb. That's at 6.3. Cutoff is set. Why in the world would it have a brightener on it? Sometimes they'll use that to uh, isolate shorts. But uh, this tube tests good. Try the life test here. Life test on us completely kills the filament. We release the life test. Okay, we've already had this plugged in, so let's see what it does. Okay, again, I don't recommend you wire these sets up in this fashion. Generally, you should have uh, my cheater cord is close by somewhere. Uh, it's polarized cheater cord on this one. Um, this is connected one side, it's a hot chassis, one side is connected to the AC line. So uh, normally you'd use an isolation transformer while doing repairs. The uh, tuner chassis has its own transformer, but the television section is all, all live. But uh, let's go in and turn this on and see what it does. These are our output tubes right here for the amplifier. And we'll just see what the phonograph does. So we were already on, uh, we're on phono right now. We could try that. The phono really doesn't interest me at the moment. This is a standard VM changer. A little dry. Let's see what happens during the phono sys stage. Uh, the tubes are lighting. The FM section is off. And the television is off. There is some hum in the speaker. I have slight volume. Balance left, right. And loudness, that's all the way up. Is there a needle in here? There's a needle in there. I am getting sound out of both channels. So we'll kill that. Switch over to television here. And that brings our TV up tube is lighting. Not lighting as bright as the tester had it, which is odd. We have our signal box on. I'm not sure what channel we're on over here. Okay. 
that is channel three. And I do have raster here. And it is kind of dim, I must say that. You hear the vertical rolling. Come on. Let's see what we can see where our sound went here. warming to know that all these TVs buzz with these converter boxes so I may have over trouble shot I'm trying to adjust this vertical but it's just not it's just not locking in Plus, don't forget we have a capacitor missing in this circuit in some circuit I just can't get it to... Oh, there we go. Again, same sound problem. A little bit of retrace. Just our brightness here. I will try to adjust the fine tune. These, these, this box is just terrible. I don't know why these won't work on. Well, we'll stop there and we'll call that. That's a sort of a full picture. Not terrible. And uh, that's the Motorola Stereo Television. It's not a stereo television, it's a stereo television. Uh, let's go over to radio. The TV chassis turns off and the radio begins to light upside down here we are on we are on FM AFC. This is the FM tour. To have killed Bigfoot in 2008. Uh, the alleged Bigfoot body, though, was actually um, really just a ape suit that he and his associates. <laughs> just have tone.
So it's like a, uh, the word I'm looking for, tuning, vernier tuning. What creature can bridge the divide? Very good tuning. The dial pointer is right there. I don't know if you can see. FM is here. AM is, is there. That must be the end of the dial there. A lot different. No. D. Okay, now we'll try the AM. Free and clear out of the Alston Souls, out towards Port. That's really good shot, Nine. Wide open again, John. A little dirty. A station in our our backyard. And the already surgically repaired right knee. The front guy to ever have 500 assists, 200 steals. The soul is the Have the Motorola stereo TV. First look from on or about. We know it's uh, the date is on the inside five of uh, five of sixty four. Five of sixty four. I don't know if you can see that or not. Five of sixty-four. And the woman that was selling this was like pulling teeth. They wanted all the money in the world for this, and I said, "No, it's got a brightener on it." Um, still ended up paying for it, but once they saw the picture, then the price was like, "Well, they were really getting scary about uh, lowering the price." But uh, there you have it. The woman was ninety-three when I said they said, "What year is it?" And they, I said, 1964, and then the, the, the woman, 93, shouted over the phone, 1965 is when they bought it. So that's the history of the Motorola Stereo TV with the VM record changer. Your all-inclusive entertainment experience. Thanks for watching.